Well, hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today I'm here at Lighthouse Antique Mall, and I think they sold it since I was last here as well. So they have a lighthouse there, just for decoration, and here's the way to go. Oh, Aaron's still trying to get out of the car. Come on now, he was eating a cookie. All right, so I've got my coffee, and we are ready to go. This is under new ownership too, I just found out. So we're gonna see what we can do here. Ooh, a spring sale, 15% off. That is always good. Over $10. They got a couple of these Joseph Original gals up here. Look at the little doggies. $10 firm. Oh, 15% off Christmas. Look at that necklace for $25 with all the stones on it. That's cool. I like, I like it. Oh, they've got all these restaurant mugs too. Bonanza, McDonald's. That's a pretty one there, that blue. Oh boy. So this is the Fire King pattern. I mean, it's made by Fire King. And it's a peach luster. I think they call that Laurel, maybe Laurel wreath or just Laurel. It has the leaves on it like that. Oh, look at the old ornaments. Now these are nice. That's a tree topper for 25. Oh, and then like the stars if you have the ceramic tree. They sell the, now they sell those on Amazon for like if you want newer ones. They sell those and then they sell the bulbs as well. So. Okay. I don't know if I see anything I need yet. This face is cool. It's a slag for 30. That's pretty though. Look at all the quasanai. That's beautiful. All right, I just noticed this box here, and I absolutely love it. It is wood burned, also known as pyography. Pyography. Not the kind that you eat, but close enough. Look at that. It's really nice. So this is $15, and they're doing 15% off in this booth as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a chance on it. I love it. Looks like the clasp has something wrong. I don't know. I like the figure on it for sure though. It's very Art Nouveau, very early 1900s looking. They got like the flower. So I'm going to get that for sure. That's Aaron's lemonade. <laughs> oh, and that's my coffee. I can't forget that. I gotta get it before I leave this booth. All right. Yeah, 15% off. We love it. Butterfly, that's cool. Mid-century for $8. Kidding. This might be um, a home piece that was painted. Uh huh. Hand painted by Paula Bartolotta. She did a good job, though. Good job. Ah. Okay. I think these are her booths. I was Francisca. just asking her about it. The one these we talked to? Red, the one with the red on it. There's the it's Franciscan the Ivy. Wait, who? The lady oh, yeah, yeah. This is hers. $20. That's about normal for that. Oh, well, since she's here, we can work out some deals. Maybe. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what is this? A transformer? <laughs> stickers. I see stickers a lot. You can actually buy these on Amazon in bulk and then sell them for money. Money. But these are like licensed ones, so that's even more desirable. But yeah, I see them because they're, you know, they're easy to do and it's like an impulse. It's so it's a nice little thing to add to a booth for some more sales. Okay, so I just noticed one of my eggs over here. They have it marked down to $5. You know, I have not bought one of these eggs in a while, but I like this one because the color is really pretty. So I'm being kind of selective with the eggs now, but um. I'm gonna get this one because I do like it. There's a big old shell down there. And there's some bunnies and a chocolate kiss. That's a really pretty bowl. Desert sands. Oh wow, that's really cool. Hmm. I like. This booth is, I think, what is it now? It's 20% off any item, $10 and above, excluding reduced items. And most things I'm seeing are reduced. <laughs> so it kind of takes the thunder out of that one. If everything's already reduced. I know Barb was looking at these plates and things last time. 
and they are really cool. They're restaurant wear. But they she was like, Oh, if they ever go, you know, on sale for any good amount, then she might. But they've always have this 20% off sale in here, so I think she wants even more off. But like, you know, $25 each and $38 for the steak plate. They are really cool though. And the whole the whole set like that is nice. For sure. Ooh. Roses. $12.50. That's not bad. I like that it, of course, works. What does it say? Something your face with something. Something your face with something. Oh, powder your face with scenarial? Huh. That's cute. It's tempting. Twelve fifty. Hmm. I mean, I would probably sell it for about 24 so at that at that price, I don't think it's really quite, like worth it, but... Oh, a seashell dog. Mm. Oh, the glassware is calling my name. Look at this nice little $6 for the blue milk glass candle holder. That's not bad. This is a sugar dish machine. machine. This is a sugar dish machine on it. It's a sugar dish. But that's six dollars suddenly seems great. You don't see the blue very much. I'll get that. I'll get that. That's a pretty maybe Fenton. Yeah, it says Fenton. Fenton with a hobnail ruffle. This is crystal. Meat crystal. And this is nice and old. Oh look at that. There's glitter inside of it. Blue spangled glass tumbler with pure silver mica flakes, circa 1885. Now that's neat, and it's twenty dollars. That was that's something you just put in like a bathroom, and then you put your toothbrushes in it. Well, maybe you do something better with it than toothbrushes, but you put it somewhere and then look at it. That's again tempting, but twenty dollars? No, I can't. I can't do it. I just can't. Okay, we'll keep looking. Now this is one of my favorite booths because they tend to have some interesting items and not priced badly. For instance, $10 for the mid-century grape cluster. That is a strikingly great price for those. These are Lucite and I mean they have written glass, but they are not glass. They're, they're like a Lucite material, which is essentially plastic, but they are very desirable right now. So I'm going to get those. The paper dolls back there, it's adorable. A milk glass egg with a face on it. <laughs> How much is that? 12? Candlesticks. Porcelain inkwell with pen rest, $30. Interesting. The pineapple shakers. Those are cool. They're like, they're a pot metal with the gold tone over them for $3. They're really neat. They're corked up for you. I'm getting those as well. I'm getting those too. I love a good $1 corner. So, what do I have here? A nice little Japanese demi toss cup. That's a dollar. We got a bear bell. A random, uh, what do you call that? Napkin ring holder thing. Uh, what are these big potato shakers? <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, look at these. Those are adorable. Those would be cute just to get put to put in a uh, like a mystery box or something. Although that one looks like trash. Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. Hey, this is part of a. Um, I'm thinking Otagiri. No, it's a little too heavy for that. Looks like the bottom of something though. Well, naturally. Little doodads in a bag. There's a sequin sky. Oh, that's adorable. There's like a little, there's an elf wood thing. There's that. It's very tempting. Very, very tempting. Again, would be great for a mystery box. Mm. I mean, a dollar. 
I should just do it. I, I like the gnome. I like the little green elf. I like the snowman. And there's like the chair thing too. I'll just do it. I'll live a little. Those are pretty. What are they like? Sake cups or something? Mid-century Amphers design bowl. Mm, pretty good. So I said, oh, it's a lithopane. I picked it up and it's plastic. But they're going for a lithopane. This one's even colored on the inside. It's a plastic one. No good. Anyway, be nice to find a, a real uh, ceramic one. Did you said, oh, holy moly, look at all the deals. Or, well, maybe they're not really. That wasn't what I was talking about. It was I something know. that I like. I know. Well, he's so he's all too eager to show me something, but I have to first decide what's going on here. Forty percent off excludes firm two dollars and over, and then if it's a red X, it's fifty percent off. Okay, I can do that. So basically, are you, are you telling me that everything is forty percent off at least? Oh, wait, unless it's firm. And there we there there's the problem. This is Roseville? Weird, why is it gold? <laughs> I've not seen that very much. Um, okay, so we've got the King's Crown pattern. They also call that thumbprint. It's in the cranberry. These little paperweights are kind of interesting, aren't they? Little baby paperweight. That's a little flower. 450 iris. Huh. So that would be, seriously, that'd be like three dollars today I mean it's a thing it's a thing and it could be done but I'm not gonna do it flower frog clear all oh, the glassware I gotta be discerning though Ooh, this is a nice piece look at that plastic it's not stone traditionally jade but this is plastic darn it plastic is this part of a, I was like, is that part of a uh, lightning rod? No, it's not. It's not, a, it's not part of a lightning rod. Um, butter dish. Is it gonna be one of those booths where it seems like I might find something, but I don't? Cause everything's like close to me wanting to get it, but then I don't end up getting it. I went through a phase of loving these little bears. I have like four of them at the house right now, but the, this was for grape jelly. You can put all kinds of things in there, like, you know, marbles, stuff like that. Namaji, $18. That's a pretty planter for five and a quarter. Something's wrong with that has to be. There's a craze, there's a, like a crack. Yeah, there it is. It goes through. What a shame, because literally that's going to be like $3 today. But I'm not doing it, because I don't want to. Is that gingerbread people? Oh. Or maybe they're just... What? I think that's supposed to be kind of like an Italian vibe, but it's made in Japan. So it's from the 30s. And it's missing some kind of a lid. It, oh, it was originally $45. Right, okay. So, I'm gonna keep looking. You know what, I think today is the day. It could be the coffee in me, I don't know. Or the two excedrins that I took in order to get rid of my migraine. But I'm gonna see if they will do any cheaper on this. It's $40, but it's known as tensile art. It is old and it is of a fairy, which is absolutely amazing. And I think this would do well for me. But at forty dollars, eh, it's a little bit up there in price to, to, to you know, to play with it. So, I'm going to see if they will do. It's been here for so long. You have to understand, like every time, like it's been years. So, I'm gonna see if they'll do like thirty is a, is doable in my head. But I'm gonna maybe I should ask for twenty just for giggles. Maybe. I don't know. I feel bad than doing that. This new this booth is never on sale though. They have great stuff. Every time I come here, I'm like, wow, they've got good stuff. And it's fun. It's old. They've got Majol Majolica. They've got, um, like, these 
like the little pieces. They got the picture back there. They have this one for 30. They have uh, just really pretty things mixed in. So we'll see. I'll add it to the cart and find out. Okay, this is the thing that Aaron wanted to show me. There's more. There's more. That is cool. So it's an Ellie, or it's a neon for 2,300. It says travel time. That is really cool. And it's rotating. Yeah. Not gonna spend that much. No, not today. <laughs> okay. That's pretty. That is nice. The glass. There's a pr pretty piece of the Van Briggle and the Mulberry. Mulberry is one of my favorite colorways for the Van Briggle. They have really nice pottery over here. Newcomb College pottery. That's uh, oh, you found more either 1750 or 750. I can't tell. Yikes. The quality is good though. Mm. I like these hearts. They've been here. They're like boudoir lamps. I just picture like a red light bulb in them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Funny. Look at the laughing frog. Oh my gosh, it's $95. Do you see that frog? <laughs> That's funny. It's funny. And that the weller, they've been here for a while. Those candlesticks, yeah. All right, here's the other thing he wanted to show me. It's a machine gun. Oh my gosh. 1919. 1919, $4,500. I guess it works. I don't know. Looks like a laser beam. And it, now, if you like Pepsi Cox, this is pretty cool right here, but... That is pretty big and cool. For me. Oh, well, that's Not a cool good. picture up there. $75. Dan. That's cute. I like that litho. You got a cute picture. The signs, yeah. 325 from the 70s. Yeah, it's a wood frame. I think or is that metal? Mm, it looks okay. like metal. Yeah. That'd be one for it to go up on the building and shed outdoor. A shed? Yeah. Or you could put it in your basement, but it's pretty big. Stop, start, safety, quickly. It's not my favorite one, but it's cool. <laughs> so this is totally something I think about with Misty. So we've got a mustard and a ketchup. Five dollars. Like, that is great. This is Commodore Japan. Oh, it has a spoon. The spoon has been glued back together. But it's great that it's still there. And then the ketchup. Well, that one's perfect. Five dollars. Really? Well, I'm going to get them both. <laughs> so cool. So cool. I, yeah, I haven't got a lot of kitschy stuff lately. So it's good to do that. Oh, they've got nice glassware. You do. Oh, this is always a favorite to look at. It's the Evans McBath and it's the petal wear. So pretty, how delicate it looks with the light going through, very opalescent. So that's fun. We like, we like that. Put this in here. I should probably go up. I have to go to the bathroom anyway. I should ask about this so that they can figure that out and that way we don't have to wait until the last minute. You know, because then you're just waiting and twiddling your thumbs. All right, so I asked if they would see about the, a, a deal on the picture, on the foil, the uh, tinsel art, and they're going to check with the vendor. Apparently, she just did a 20% off discount booth-wide. I wasn't here for that. But, um, so we'll see if I can, ooh, if I can get anything off. 20% would be nice. It would be. Check out reduced prices. Yeah, this, this mall is known for having like red X's on things. And that means store-wide that it's 50% off. Still not the best thing to do because you just need a red pen and you can make anything 50% off. I don't know how many people are doing that, but it could be done. Okay, I'm gonna keep looking. Okay, just an update. So they decided to do 10% on the foil picture because the, um, the booth owner already has to pay 10% to the mall in addition to whatever sales they have. I so found in a effect cool hmm? clock that could work at the end of our hall if we split okay. price. So effectively it's 20 it's like 20%. So um, I couldn't get anything else off. Though I think I'm going to do it anyway because it's cool. So 
Paperweights, these are still, a lot of these are still here. The ones I was here last time and I thought everything was $5, but the majority are like $15, some are 10. I think the best ones are gone now. Yeah, that's pretty with the, the iridescence on it. These are cute, I'm not gonna buy them, I just wanted to show. So they have the metal top lids and this is Hazel Atlas. It says jelly glass jar. And then this one over here is a ball. Ball is known for their jars as well. They're cool. I like those patterns. I use a Atlas and ball. Okay. This booth has like a lot of bottles and stuff. I don't I don't think I've bought anything in it ever. Okay, show me the clock. I know well, you well, that's you always on your mind. Just get... He's been hovering ever since he told me. So where is that? The, the film, oh like. now I'm allowed to. Okay, well why don't you go up to it and I'll get to you eventually. Yeah, That'll help. Otherwise it makes me like good. feel rushed if you're hovering. Sixty? Murano, 60. 20% off of everything. Mm. Oh, there's, look at the grapes. $85. These are very cloudy. Except some, some are shiny, but some are cloudy. I wonder if like wax, like car wax would help it. Probably. But 85. See, there's the discrepancy right there. In the same mall, I was able to buy those other ones for, I forgot what I paid anymore, but that's a big difference. Look at them tiny pies. Are they, they're longer burger pies. What? So they're not candles or anything, they're just for looks. That's crazy. <laughs> There's some black obsidian. It's actually made out of volcanic rock okay <laughs> i feel like i've entered the twilight zone look at this pig it is a bank and it has like a little shield and my gosh it's made of it's made by left and apparently it's it'd be uh, half off of 35 you could just barely make out the pin so it's half of 35. <laughs> oh my gosh so here's the marking on the bottom you can also barely make out g left in so I believe it's early Lefton, because it went by Geo, Geo Z Lefton, I think before the regular Lefton too, so. Hasn't been broken open, it's a pit, well, has the bottoms open. I don't know, it's so different though. Maybe I should think about it. I wish it was, well, half of 35 is like 17, right? Arr. I'm gonna think about this one. What? Where are we looking? Where are we look? I don't understand. What am, right there. What, what am I, the, the cardinal one? You're kidding me. For the end of the hallway? No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That ain't it. Oh, That's so not the one. there is it here? That would be funny though. I, I, think, I, I, I think I am gonna get this pig. Um, You'll see it when you I looked it card. up online, I can't find it anywhere. It's just, so it's one of those things where. You're gonna hmm? see it now when you put this in the cart. Now, this clock is not a particular. I have to backtrack on these booths too, but. It's not my favorite that I've ever seen anywhere, uh -huh. but you can take a look at it. It's hanging up on your left. Okay. Oh, I like the, um, I like what's going on with it. And it's the older one. It has the keys. It has the, all the carved wood pieces. It's not that expensive. Pieces. It what, does it work? Uh, that I don't know. Did it you say, say. what did you say about the keys? It says they're up there. The price is on your. So you wind it. It's been reduced. One and a quarter. Hmm. And 25, so. Hmm. I don't know if it works. I'd have to know it works. It looks nice. It's not a favorite of mine, but it's, it's not bad either. Interesting. Something to think about. I don't know. Yeah. That is really cool. Hmm. Yeah, it's not just your, like, smaller one. It's kind of... It's a regulator. What's the A for? That's a good question. Maybe it was, like, engraved for somebody. Or not engraved, but... Maybe that's like the initial of the original owner or something. It, you know, on that price tag, it might say something about if it works or not. I didn't read that. Besides what was on there. Oh, all them words. Chimes the hour and half hour. Has key and pendulum. Worked great for years. Not now. Needs adjusting. Okay, oh, see. Oh, never mind. I'm not doing with it. If you ever take this to a clock shop, it's expensive, by the way. I have one at home, and that's at the end of all that needs to work on. <laughs> oh. It doesn't look just Visually, like it's nice. It is visually. They need servicing. Those old clocks are kind of a pain, to be honest. 
But it is cool. If it worked, I'd be more interested. Yeah. You know what? This is really pretty. This is a Quasine fish bowl. I mean, <laughs> not for fish, but it has the fish on it. It's also reticulated. It has the slices cut out of it. That's fun. The inside has the enameling. I like that. Three dollars. This should do well, and I'm not kidding. It has the foil, it has the enameling. The fish are beautiful. The fish are beautiful. Listen to me. Ooh, Scotty glass. That's adorable. It's just a single, but eight dollars. See? No. Little tiny dragonware bud vase, like a mini bud vase. Probably made in Japan. Two bucks. That's not bad at all. And there's a little, like a little tea, a little team of bobber for three. A team of bobber. But this is, I'm, I'm happy about this. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. I know, I'm filling that cart like it's nobody's business. Well, now that is adorable. It's an owl teapot, like a little mini one. It's its little spout, Ugh, it's little handle. There's a couple little blemishes um, right here on the spout part, which makes sense because you might, you know, smack your cup with it. But 12 bucks, and I love Norcrest. Norcrest did some really pretty things, like their little birds, their little bluebirds they did. So I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna pick this up for $12, for sure. These have been here for a while too, the Czechoslovakia vases for with the orange and black. Those are cute for Halloween. Oh, they marked them to five dollars. They were ten, then seven fifteen, now five. And I'm buying them for five. Because that is good. Oh, this is known as the thousand faces. It's a nappy dish. Five dollars. Are you kidding? Let me get this. This is a collectible thing. So if you look here, you have all them faces. That's why they call it Thousand Faces. It's a Japan piece. So it's made in Japan. And of course, made in Japan generally dates to the 30s time frame. That's, you know, that's a very specific, that's a very specific thing I just said. Made in Japan, not just Japan. So when it says made in on top of the Japan, that's our, with it. That's how you kind of get an earlier date range for the Japan uh, around the 30s era. Fun, fun, fun in the sun. But uh, anyway, where's my cart? These are cool. It's a chenille bobblehead duck. It's $16. <laughs> a chenille duck. Of course, there's the Rossbro or Rosebro ones behind it in the hard plastic. They're candy containers. They're pretty popular. Rossbro did Halloween, Christmas, Easter, maybe a couple other random Easter's holidays. coming up. It is. I've heard about that. It's coming back again. So there's those. I think I have maybe one of those to sell already. I'm not sure. Left in for 28, the two bunnies. Oh, look at little chickadee girl there with her green outfit on. Oh, and the tin back there. Is that tin deco? It's $80. The tin deco tins are traditionally very pricey because people collect this very specifically. It would be marked on the bottom if it is. Oh, look, oh, Valentine's Day. Yes, I forgot about that holiday. I thought that it was over. That's over. Yeah, but it's fun to look. Right. It's close still that it's... It's always fun to look. I guess. And there's Christmas out here. It's around, always so. fun to look. Hey, that one's 10 deco, I believe. That bunny rabbit one. Fairly certain. It's kind of hard to see, though. There's a couple of the Christmas Ross Bros. Santa on ski. Well, the sled. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I just spotted this adorable little pixie in the booth case, the case, in the case, and it's eight dollars. So I'm gonna get it. I think that's a really good deal. So it's a little pixie, I believe, left in. So that's nice. And then these syrup pitchers are calling my name. It's been so long since I've picked up a syrup pitcher. So let's put this guy down for a minute. I like this green one. Yeah, I like this green with the bird so much. Ooh, it's fifty-five. That one's beautiful. And there's a milk glass, and there's this one here. So I'm gonna look at these and decide what I wanna do. Okay, so I decided I'm gonna get this one because the color is amazing, and I'm gonna get this other painted one that's milk glass. Although the one on this one is, is less, but it's the lid 
the lid itself uh, needs like something to go on. I mean, if you're just going to display it, it looks fantastic. You could figure it out. But if you're going to sit there and play with the handle and, you know, then you'll have issues. But it does. It sits right in there, see? But it needs some kind of like a little pin maybe to keep it in place because of the hull. But it looks good. Paint, painted mill glass. Somebody had, a, had their way with it and they painted a flower. So I'm going to get those two. Very, very nice. Okay, so I'm also going to get this vase because it is Fenton and it's blue opalescent, amazing swung glass with a little crimped edge, 20% off of 20. So it's effectively $16 and I'm going to do it. And while I'm at it, there's also this little basket back here, Fenton as well. And I love that color. This one is 30. Hmm. I don't think I will, but I love that pattern on there so much. It's all blown. Well, it's blown in the mold. <clears throat> Good. Boy, I'm glad I'm looking at this booth again. Now this, the booth owner for this booth happens to be here. So, and she's kind of working with me on prices, but this actually is already a decent price. It'd be $6.25. And this is in that, what I believe is called root, root, beer, root beer glass. It's this sort of darker brown, similar to amber, but a little bit darker. And it's this nice, nice pressed piece. Uh, shows its age, there's a little bit of inclusions in there. But I love it so much. Oh. Now I'm assuming it's a four part mold if there's lines going like that. Normally glass, you'll see like just one line going down, down it where the two pieces come together to create the mold. But this one looks like maybe four. Interesting. So a four-part mold. Not sure why they would do that. Maybe it's just the way they had to do it. All right, so that was really good. I did really well here, and I guess I'll wrap it up. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.